Hey everybody, welcome to Nation. My name is Jersey, and you are here. This is WCR Nation. I want to first off say thanks for checking us out. If you're new to this channel, you've never watched the show, listened to the show, then thanks. What's up? My name's Jersey. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming and hanging out, checking us out. Hopefully it doesn't suck too much. <laughs> But this is like the 30th episode, so go back and watch any of the other episodes if you'd like. Truly appreciate it. Let me know your feedback, whatever you want to do from there. I would be um, much obliged. So thank you. Um, this is going to be available via podcast uh, or YouTube. It's going to be on SoundCloud, iTunes, um, Google Play, or TuneIn. So check it out any way that you love to listen or watch. And if you... Uh, want to comment, you can certainly do that. Please do that down below and I'll explain why in a second. Also, if you are part of the nation, if you are one of the cool kids, somebody who watches this show religiously, what is up? It is because of you that I get to do this show. So thank you so very, very much for checking us out. I love you guys are so awesome. It truly, truly is a huge pleasure to be able to do this for you guys. So thank you very, very much. And if you're one of my unbelievable clients who order your supplies through me, big, small, whatever kind of order, it's like a high five. Thank you so very, very much for ordering through me. And with that being said, I am a sales rep for Window Cleaning Resource. So if you have any supplies you need to be ordered, any questions, anything, call me 862-312-2026. Shoot me a text on that number, either regarding products or if you just want to say, what's up, man, watch the podcast, love it where you're from, that kind of thing, I really, really, really appreciate it. That's really my best part of my week is when somebody sends me some random stuff about, um, you know, thanks for uh, doing the podcast or I watched it for the first time or whatever they do. I really, really appreciate that. So thank you so very much for that. Um, and I just want to go off kind of the beginning intro part that's kind of uh, uh, normal and say you guys are amazing. Really, last week we had more views and more comments than we've ever had in a short amount of time uh, with the show. So you guys on the nation, uh, in the nation, anybody who watches the show, you guys are amazing. You really, really are phenomenal. You guys are awesome. Um, this week I want to say something real quick. I just want to say that if you're watching the show and you like the show or you even can tolerate the show or whatever, share the video uh, from YouTube Share it on any social platform. I want to see how many shares we can get. Uh, I know it sounds so cliche, but last week you guys blew it out of the water with your comments. Because of the comments, if you leave a comment on YouTube, we pick a winner every single week. And this is like a small, this is not hundreds and hundreds of people that comment. So you have a huge chance to win. Last week's winner, I hope you're watching now, is actually Chaz Miller. Um, winner, winner, chicken dinner, man. Go ahead and email me your uh, address, josh at windowcleaningresource.com. And this week, share it first and foremost. And comment down below if you're watching this on YouTube. And you will be put in the drawing for next week. This is a $50 gift card to WCR. Credit on your account for anything you want. And the all-coveted swag bag that includes the shirt with the WCR Circle logo. It also has the Ettore pin, which people freak out about. So that's cool. Bunch of sticker packs. It's just awesome. Uh, and you truly are one of the cool kids. So do that. Uh, share it. Comment down below and thumbs up. The thumbs up are really nice too. So anyway, you guys are amazing. Just amazing. A couple of shout outs I want to give. Um, first and foremost, I want to say what up to Hugo Vargas. Uh, what's going on, man? Thanks for watching the show. Also, Jared AI, he shared it a bunch of times last week. So Jared, what's up, man? You are the man. I really appreciate uh, you guys getting out there and sharing this stuff. It's, it's phenomenal. Blow my mind, really. Blew my mind. Made made my uh, holiday awesome. Uh, Alan Brown, what is going on, man? And finally, Jose Aguilar, what is going on, brother? Those are uh, some of my uh, uh, really good clients and uh, good friends of the show. So what is going on? I really appreciate you guys uh, watching, commenting, opening up conversations. So many good comments. I can't say that enough. You guys did amazing. Anyway, okay, enough babbling. Uh, this week we're talking about are you unique? And... This is kind of a big question. You've heard of USP, unique selling proposition, unique selling point, whatever. 
Um, and you have to have a good USP. Now, it's winter when we're recording this. I don't know when you'll be watching this, but it is colder. It is not the busy time of year, so now's the time. You have more time than you have work, right? In fact, right now as we record this, the south, pretty much all of the country, is getting the biggest cold blast I think that we've uh, had in, in years. It's actually the coldest uh, New Year's here in North Carolina in like 20 years, I want to say. thought I read that somewhere. So you're not out there cleaning windows. Actually, I got a meeting with uh, Jordy, you guys know him, um, to do a nation because it's so cold by him. He's just not working, man. So we're going to put something together. It'll be a lot of fun. But in deciding why you're unique, I don't want to hear about you know, you got a, a, a sixth toe or an extra nipple or a crooked nose, right? It's crooked nose. You don't have to tell me it's crooked. I know, by the way. But uh, you have to be unique because if you're not unique, you just get lost, right? You just, no one cares about a business like they care about a person. We've talked about that before. But what makes you unique? And this is the biggest part of this. And I always say, listen, I'm not always right. I'm not. I know that. I'm just telling you my thoughts. Tell me if I'm wrong. Comment down below. But that is the reason people pick you. Unless they're based on price. The big thing in window cleaning or any service industry, because we don't have an overhead. We're not selling a t-shirt that we had to buy for $5 for $10. We're selling our time. So our time could go down as, as low as a dollar an hour. I mean, really. You know, I value my time a little bit more than that. I hope you do too. But right, you, you could go to any um, price that you want. And the problem is, is that people in our industry, that's window cleaning, pressure washer, which, what's up, pressure washer love? Um, any service industry that you do, or that you're in, or that you, anything, right? You could charge as little or as much as you want, and... There's not really anybody who can tell you that you're wrong or right. Because it's your business, you're always right. But I want to tell you, if you sell on the basis of um, price, then the type of person you get is the basis. They're based on price. They're going to drop you for the next cheapest guy, right? So the thing that really, really matters is, is that are you worth what you're saying you're worth? And why are you worth that? That's where being unique or what your USP comes into play. Because you have to be unique. People have to choose you. So here's a few things. First off, you have to know in selling you that you are the best choice for them. This is a hard one too because a lot of people, they know they're good, but they don't know why they're good, right? They go, oh, I'm the best. Why are you the best? I got the cleanest windows and... Uh, uh, my trucks are nice and I, right? They don't know. They're just making stuff up. But you have to find this out. You have to know why you're unique. You need to know why you're the best. Here's, here's a scenario for you. If you see a kid running into the street, cars coming, what are you going to do? You're going to push everybody over to get to this kid to save his life. You know for a 100% fact that's the best decision for that kid, right? You will jump through fire, especially if it's your kid. Right? You will do whatever you can to save that person from running in the street because you are so 100% certain that that decision and that choice is the best one for that kid is to do that and save him. It's the same thing to some degree. I know this is a far stretch. It's your business. right? You need to be 100% certain that your product, your company, your service is better than any other company or service out there for your customer. It has to be that way. Because if you truly, truly believe in what you're selling, you will sell better, more sincerely, and be able to close more, guaranteed. The people who fail at sales are the ones who sell rainbow vacuums. Uh, I'm not just saying that. I know you might have sold rainbow in the past or whatever, and I'm not throwing names out there for any reason. But say you sell vacuums, and you say, oh, it's a vacuum. How is it? Well, you know, it's it's like any other vacuum, but it's cool, you know. It's uh, you know, if you don't truly believe in it, you're gonna fail. You're not gonna sell that vacuum. If you sold rainbow vacuums, 
or any of the other stuff, the door-to-door kind of sales, the kind of, not even pyramid schemes, but the stuff that you could sell, but you truly didn't buy it yourself, you didn't believe in it, it's so hard to sell. If you sell Chevys, but you love Fords, it's so hard. You translate that subliminally to people. So you need to understand that what you're selling and what you're actually about is worth it to people. So figuring this out is a little bit hard. And you may need to tailor what you have already going to kind of up the unique side of things. Because if right now your unique selling point is, man, I'm the cheapest in town, you're doing it wrong. You are so doing it wrong. I don't care. And I've gotten in arguments with, listen, I don't give two dumps what you do with your company. I don't. But I can tell you, I feel like there's certain ways some things can get done. And if you sell on price, like I said, you're going to find people who buy on price. I had a guy tell me on a forum, and he was a troll, I know, but he told me that it's all about frequency. Okay, listen. We're in a service industry. There is no frequency. If I sell you five pressure washers, I can save you money because there's bulk. In service, there is no bulk. There's no bulk savings in service. It's just more work. It's more hours. Now, if you say, okay, I have one complex. You're going to be here for uh, a week. I can save you money there because I'm not going to be driving around, right? But if I have to sell 10 jobs in one day as opposed to five jobs in one day, I'm driving more. I'm spending more to get to these jobs. There is no, I get do more work. There, there's none of that. Listen, in all of this, and I'm getting on a tangent and kind of on this side of thing, but if you could do one job and make your entire, if you could do one job in two hours of the day, make $1,000 over doing 10 jobs in a day to make $1,000, wouldn't you do that? Yeah, yeah, we all would. That's the concept here. Don't sell on price. Be worth what you sell. But you have to figure out what it is. So back to that kind of side thing. Listen, if I told you right now that I want to sell you something, okay? Keep an open mind. I'm going to sell you something. I'm not going to tell you what it is. But I'm going to sell it to you for $1, $100, or $1,000. Which one would you pick? I didn't tell you what you're buying. Well, of course you're gonna be like, well, I guess if I gotta spend one, I'm gonna spend a dollar because I don't, I don't know what I'm getting, but a dollar is the least amount I could lose, and it's a buck, right? What if I told you that I'm selling you a brand new Ferrari? Hmm. Okay. Right. Things changed. Well, of course I'd still go with a dollar, but I'd pay a thousand bucks. I'd buy two at a thousand dollars, right? I don't even need a Ferrari, but a thousand dollars is worth it. What changed in that whole scenario? The same thing was there. The only thing that changed is I explained to you what you're paying for. And inherently, you know the value of what you bought with a Ferrari. Now, I know you don't maybe not know the trim colors and things like that, but you understand that there's a lot of value in that. That is where our services come from. A lot of guys go out like, ah, we got 20 windows for $49. We're crazy about bargains. Well, you're just selling a price. You're not telling anybody what they're getting for the price. Now, and, and this you're not going to sell everybody on it. But you, if you if your unique selling point is, is price, then you're racing to the bottom. We've talked about that before. But price is something that you should be closing 75 to 80 85%. If you're over that, you're too low. If you're under that, you need to buy a sales book or you're too high in your price. You really have to find that sweet spot. Now, the, another business theory is, is that if you took what you have right now, doubled the price, and didn't lose more than half of your customers, you'd make more money. Now, I'm not recommending that, but I'm saying based on money, that's where that comes, right? But you need to explain to people why you're worth what now you're charging, what makes you special. So let's go over a few of these things. I, I want to tell you first, I, I, there's a lot of firsts, I guess you'd say, but... Being the cleanest, cleaning the best window, that's so not what anybody cares about. You want to know why? Because when you clean a window, when you're a window cleaner, guess what? Everybody is presumed to clean windows. It's just what it is, right? 
everybody is going to clean the window. Now, until you prove them wrong, a clean window is universal. It's clean. It's either clean or it's not clean. It could be really clean or really not clean, but you're clean or you're not. That's universal and it's expected. If you buy a dog walker or rent one or whatever, go through and hire one, what are they going to do? They can't tell you that they walk the dog the best because that's expected. You're, you're a dog walker. That's what you do. But what else do you do, right? What else makes you different in dog walking? Well, on top of walking the dogs, I give them a bath. I also brush their teeth. I, I also have 10 minutes of uh, petting time, you know, or I play tug of, tug of rope or tug of war or whatever with them, right? You have to explain what else is there. You can't sell on the expected. And clean windows are. So don't say you're the cleanest in town and you clean the best window because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter until you prove them wrong. Uh, clean is universal. What you can tell them, though, is what you do that XYZ doesn't. Now, don't use another company's name or anything like that, but in explaining yourself, your pedestal should be built of what you can do, not of what others can't. So instead of telling them the negatives on somebody else, which I hate, pet peeve of mine, tell them what you can do yourself, what you offer, okay? I just talked to a guy who says that when he does storm windows, he does a lot of them, he lubes all the windows, sands down the frames, um, you know, uh, cleans out everything, reruns it, basically gets your window back to new along with cleaning it. Now that's a huge one, right? Whenever I do screen repair, um, which I'm on and off on if I like screen repair or not, but I always say that we lube everything because I do. I take some 301 oil and every pin on there, I go ahead and lube all the tracks. I make sure that uh, all the new spline is in, all the, there's no bends, all that stuff. What In replacing screens, the replacement of the screen is expected. I'm going to have a new screening material in there, right? But it's the extra stuff that you have to be unique about. So why are people going to pay more for you? Well, let's go over this. Let's go over just a couple scenarios on why people pay more for somebody over somebody else. So we talked about clean windows. That's universal, right? Well, what else do you do? Are there any free services you add with that? Like I said, window lube, uh, free screen cleaning. Are the tracks included? Are the sills included? Are the frames wiped down? Are the frames scrubbed, right? There's so many extra things that could go with that. Now you're selling on extra services. Why do you want to buy the Bell & Howell Tactical Light? Call right now. You'll get a second one absolutely free, right? Why do they do that? They want to, oh, okay, you're kind of interested, but here's more stuff. You can use that in your unique selling point is we are the complete cleaning company. When we get there, our window cleaning service is so much more in-depth than, than anybody else this is what we do window cleaning we do the frames we scrub the sills we vacuum we lube lubricate everything in hinge points and connection points we wipe down all the, the felt strips and then if there's any seals that need it we do that also plus we'll reglaze any window that needs it if you're in the type of area that has that right all those extra things people go whoa you're selling me a ferrari right the next guy is just a window cleaner he's going to clean the bird poop off my window but you're selling me a ferrari right? You can do that. Get them to know that you're selling more than the expected. And that's why people now all of a sudden are focused on everything they're getting. They're not focused on the price. If you can have them focused on everything that you offer or your unique selling point, why you're unique, they're not looking at the price. They're looking at you being unique, you know? And this really will sell. Now, again, there will always be people who are only in it for the price and you don't need everybody you don't need to step over dollars to make pennies it just you don't need everybody you need to have a good close rate but what will help your close rate is letting people know why right sell them a ferrari not just a window cleaning and in 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 all of the industries that you do i've seen you know you could be a carpet cleaner that offers a free uh, uh scotch guard right or you're a uh, window cleaner that offers a free gutter cleaning, right? Read uh, Marketing Blueprint by Chrissy Lambeau. Uh, that was one of his things. When he started off, he gave every window cleaner got a free gutter cleaning. 
They're going, whoa, man, I get 250 bucks of gutter cleaning. Okay, that may not be your thing. But what if you were charging more for windows because it came with a free gutter cleaning? Well, then you're not giving a free gutter cleaning. Well, I'm doing sills, tracks, frames, all that for free, but my price is more expensive than the next guy. So you could charge anything that you want for your services. It's not padding the price when you think about what your service is. If I want to charge $60 for a storm set, I could charge that and I can offer a lot more. Or I can charge that and offer a lot less and get less closes. So I'm not padding the price, but I am explaining why I'm charging that price. Now, if I usually get $250, but I do an entire house and I'm adding an extra $200 to the overall ticket, or let's say an extra uh, $5 a window or something to kind of make up for that price, so that always will come with a gutter cleaning. That will always come with frames, tracks. So I will be there until the job is absolutely perfect every time. And I'm not going to hate life because I'm charging for that, right? That's maybe not something you want to sell on, but you'll understand it in your head. That's your unique selling point. You're selling on what it is you're selling. You're getting a Ferrari, man. Another thing is when you are showing what your USP is, your uniqueness, right? You're going to tell them about yourself. And we talked about this in a past episode. If you're part of the nation, you might have seen it. Uh, hopefully, you've watched all of them. If you're new, go back and check it out. But we talked about was people are more willing to pay for John Doe over XYZ window cleaning. Well, we're, we're the same person. No, you're not. I've cl closed jobs this way, and I know a lot of people have, is when people all of a sudden see you as a person, they like you. I could like a company and not give two dumps about them, but I could like you as a person feeling that we're getting to be friends in some subliminal level and I want to appeal to you. I like you. I'm hiring you. I'm hiring you. It's so much easier for somebody to hire you. So your unique selling point could be the family or the focus on the employees, right? I know a lot of guys that have a unique selling point on that side of things where they are focused. All of our employees are triple screened, drug tested monthly. They are clean and of the utmost appearance. There's pictures on the website. of I did picture bios on each employee so you know before they come in your house who they are. Every one of our employees wears an entire name tag that on the front is their picture, on the back is personal information that you can ask them to see at any time. Every one of our employees will always take their shoes off. We don't wear uh, boots or, you know, wipe our shoes off before we will take them off every time. And you will know that we have, uh, you know, clean clothes, clean uniforms. There's always a change of uniform in the truck in case anybody is there. I'm selling now on the presence of the people who are doing the work. Oh my gosh, these guys, these guys are not going to stink, right? They're not going to be, you got to back it up, by the way. But I'm selling on my guys. Why do you hire us? Oh, these guys are amazing. Look at Kurt's business. If you remember anything with a lot of him, he was he was doing IWCA shows with the um, uh, I forget what the heck it's called now. The uh, presentation for something. But what they would do is basically show uh, their company and and sell. His big thing was his employees. Right, You could see all of it, all of the videos had it, each employee had their certain thing. I stole from him, I took uh, the star levels. So as an employee was there, we had stars and it was like three pages long. Every level was a certain level. There was a time and then there was another, um, you know, extra bonuses. They read two books, they did this, they did this. There's a big thing. So every time you got an employee, you could have a five-star employee, which means they were with us for more than five years. They read two books a year. They did this. They, and you got these star levels, right? So you earned it. The employees had an incentive to be better because now they're getting pay raises for each of these star levels. And the uh, customers are seeing that they actually have a star level. On the website, on the sheets, you can hand it to them. If your unique selling point is employees, you can have a breakdown of what the stars mean and give them a sheet. When you get there, hey, just so you know, uh, here's everything with the bad news. I also included a sheet that explains our star program and what our employees do and why I am a five star uh, rated person, what I had to do to earn that, just so you can know a little bit more about us. We also toyed with the idea, uh, which, you know what, we didn't really 
We did, but uh, we didn't do it for very long just because we were changing it, never got it printed. But almost like baseball cards. If you have employees and that's your focus, now you can have cards that have their specs, a family photo, kid photo maybe on the back, but their specs. So every employee, when you get in, here's the cards, here's the bio cards on our employees. So they know who's in their house. Now all of a sudden they can feel safe, right? You just gave them safety or the feeling of being safe with window cleaning, right? So you can sell on any part of this that you want, but you need to find out what makes you unique. Now here's the other part. If the guys up the street also have a star program and you have a star program, you need to know your star program is better. You're already watching or listening to this show. You already are going to achieve more than the other guy or gal in your area is. You are. It's just a fact. Because you're learning. Because you're actively bettering yourself. You need to do the same thing in the, in the programs that you offer. You need to know you're doing everything you possibly can to make your unique selling point absolutely unique. And now people are buying you for that over buying you for price. It's hard to do. Especially if you're, uh, you've been in this game for a while and you're set in your ways. A lot of guys, I mean, rebranding is something we're going to talk about in the future, but rebranding is tough in any sense. And something like this to create a unique selling point, you will be better, close more, and it will be an easier sell if you have a USP. Speaking of rebranding, I know a guy who watches the show, What Up to Monarch, um, but he rebranded. He rebranded and his focus is the local guy right? He's not the company or the big organization with the no, he's the local guy. And that's kind of his, his ploy, his USP, the way that people know him and buy him. And he has exponentially grown his business that way. It's, it's amazing what you can do when you kind of focus on certain areas you may never thought of, you know, what are you selling now? If you don't have a USP, what are you selling? You're selling the cheapest, probably you're selling all your deals, your sales. Oh, buy now. You can, you're focusing on price when you don't need to focus on price. And I'm telling you, if you focus on price, you're going to get the customers who focus on price. And then the next guy comes in for $5 cheaper. They got no qualms about leaving you for 5 bucks. But if Jane Smith knows all about you and she loves your five-star employee, or she loves the care you take with her windows, she just loves what you do. She loves any of the USP pieces to the puzzle. She don't care about five bucks. What are you doing? Your five dollars, you're gonna it cost me five dollars in, in headaches just to hire you. People don't care when they aren't focused on the price. So change the ways that you sell, change what your company is, and most importantly, you need to believe in what you're selling. You need to believe it that you are the best option. You need to know that you're stopping a kid from running into a street and getting hit by a car by selling these people something. If you know that there is no other better option for these people, it is 100% the best choice, it is oxygen that they're breathing to keep alive, you will sell it every time because they'll know it and they'll feel it in how you sell. So understand your USP and sell the crap out of it. Anyway, that's the show for this week. Like I said, I really appreciate it. You guys blew it away last week. If you're still watching the show, which I hope you are, uh, share this. Share this anywhere. Social media, anywhere. Say what's up. Say, tell me you shared it on, on YouTube and you'll get to share it and you put your comment in there to win for the chance for the swag bag and credit for WCR. And most importantly, call me. Call or I should say text me. I always say call me, but text me is always better because, you know, salespeople, we work all the time. Text me, 862 312-2026. I'll get back to you all the time. Uh, even if, like uh, over this New Year's, I was uh, at a New Year's Eve party and uh, I wasn't able to do anything because I'm not in front of a computer. But you can certainly text me. I'd love to hear it. Just text me and say what's up. I love, love, love when you guys do that. Nation, you guys are amazing. You guys are epic, epic, epic. And we are now under a month away from ICE. So if you're going to any shows, International Cleaning Expos in Vegas, I will be there. Come check us out. Let's hang out. Uh, come and uh, we'll talk more about that in the coming weeks. So, but thanks again for watching. Thanks for being part of the nation. Thanks for being completely epic. Go out there and make some money now. And don't freeze your butts off, huh?